welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack video. I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, we're back on the return now, back to um, Gatwick. So nothing's really set when turn around mode, or you know, turn around state um, from just arriving. We only arrived about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, and we need to get go back now, back to Gatwick before it gets too late. So without further ado, let's get things getting set up. Um, in terms of the aircon, we need to bring this down a bit, don't we? APU is on. APU is on. Um, lovely, happy with all this. Let's get going. Cruising at flight level three four zero today. Oh, so let's just get that set in now. We can also get our flight directors put in, and we'll get everything loaded. Uh, let's go to MCDU menu, ATSU, IOC. Um, let's get the uh, init ready. So we're going to go from LG. Z A slash E G K K. That's a request. There we go. Three four zero. Initialize data request. And then the flight number, sorry, is easy seven papa. Just get that in. Looks like I'm putting it in today then. Easy seven papa. There we go. Oh, not that. That's the right one. AOC menu, RFP data. Right, let's get the fuel on board and going. So looking at here, the total taxi time is 100, so that's about 10 minutes. That's the wrong one. Um block fuel is 11633. One one six three three, and then the trip fuel is seven 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 one. Perfect, and then the zero fuel weight as well. We're looking at today with a zero fuel weight of sixty two point two. Let's pop that in. Standard time departure, not bad. Now we do have quite a bit of fuel left, so we shouldn't be falling for that much for that long. Considering on the arrival here, let's get boarding as well. So in terms of cargo, we'll take not a lot back, maybe one fifty five, and then maybe like another hundred at the back here, and like fifty in the middle. Um, passengers as well, we'll take like twenty two, nineteen, and fourteen. Request board now. Request. I want that boarding going straight away. There we go. Um, and then we'll do the perf request after that as well. Let's get the flight plan going. So departure is 16. And then the departure, it said we're on, is it Odessa 2 Hotel? So let's put that in. Found you. Flight plan, there we go. Get rid of this community. And then we're left with this. F oh, well. That don't look great, does it? It's fine. From departure, we'll go direct. But that is our route. Now, once boarding and fueling has completed, and also cargo, um, we can get ready for push to start. So I'll see you in a bit. So the refueling now has completed, and the passengers are all aboard. So, all aboard. <laughs> um, now what I've got to do is just get the perf request. So we've got a few load sheets, so this is fine. Um, we want this message, which is fine, and then we want the performance page. Here we go. So, V1 and VR today is 134, 135, 139. We want a flap 3 departure again. So, flap 3 slash down 0 0.7. Round it up. There we go. And then the flex temperature is 48. There we go, and that's all good. We're now ready for pushback and departure. So if we prepare for pushback. There we go. Let's get the beacon light on. Just making sure the doors have actually shut, which they have done, thankfully. Hello, Ken. We're ready for pushback. Let's get the dome lights off. 
we'll put on this one. I feel like I need a light here just for now. Where has it gone? Oh, I can never find it when it's dark. There it is. We'll just switch these ones on. Just while we're waiting. Um, let's get rid of... For some reason the wall chocks are always set. Uh, we want those. What way do we come in? So one those left. Check completed. Bypass been inserted. Oh, they have done it, okay. Release parking brakes. Hang on two seconds. Commencing push. All engines. Turn them down a bit. There we go. Um, right, max auto brake on the auto, not the auto, what do you call them? Uh, speed brakes. Taxi lights on, run return of lights on. APU off. Pack two off. Pack one off. Let's go full left. Full right. Full up. We and fall down. Nice, everything's good in that end. Um, this needs to all be clicked in. Do not have a. Hmm, that's weird. Not sure why the speed's not clicking in. What am I forgetting? Always that. Hmm. Odd. Put us a little bit of a problem, not to worry. We'll go through. Okay, right. Release parking brakes. Let's go. Flap three. T A R A. Be Norman. Hello. Hello, it's Norman. Let's I'm gathered. Secure for takeoff. Thank you. dark it is. Go try and look for a turn. Turn around. Not turn around. Backtrack. Where are they? Can't see it. I gotta do it myself. Mm. 
Looks like they do. Oh no, I don't. And swing it around. Right, about to get a whip we go. Where are they? It's literally right there. Whatever. Okay, right, let's get going then. So Fifty percent. And lights on, take off lights on, strobes on. Man flex SRS runway. Auto thrust blue. One hundred knots. Check. V1, rotate. Positive climb rate, gear up. So the way this works is apparently we've got to fly all the way out here, but that just looks way too long to me. That's going to cost a lot of time, so we're going to start the right turn now. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelt fastened while the seatbelt sign is on. We recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened while you are seated. Toilet sign located at each end of the cabin. Remember that smoking is not permitted at any time. This includes e-cigarettes. In just a few moments, we'll commence our in-flight service. Right, let's go direct. So, um, there you go. Also, part of two. Flap two. Most major currencies and debit or credit cards. The correct change would be greatly appreciated. And if we can be of any further assistance, then just ask us as we join you in the cabin shortly. And flap one, and pack two, and pack one, and flaps up. Now we're on track. Um, I also want to get rid of this, so we're going to go direct to Atus. Much better. If we look at Sim Talk at Pro, it probably show that we've just completely gone off. But I know we're alright. Very, very happy with the flight so far. Oh, we didn't start the clock. Of course, it didn't. That is not a surprise. Land the lights off, taxi lights and takeoff lights off, and return off lights off as well. Bit turbulent. These cabin lights are really dark. Wow, it's actually quite windy. Standard. Standard. 9,000.
Alright, so guys, I'm going to leave it here. Enjoy the cinematics from whatever you can see of them. And I'll see you near the top of the tent. See you in a bit. Second, I'm starting a new video. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to um, the flight. So, we're just over north of France, so not long until we start descent into London Gatwick. So, um, what we need to do is get everything ready in the flight deck, ready for arrival. As you can see, as you can see top of descent is 120 nautical miles away, so let's get things planned. So, EGKK, arrival, looking at the ILS. Um, it says here the ILS 08 right and the arrival star we are on is the Canav which is this one, one golf insert that and we'll go to the perf page and then within the perf we can have a look as well so at the moment temperature is 13 degrees so we'll pop that in there and then the Q&H is 0984 Lovely, and then the oh yeah, the wind is zero slash three, so variable zero knots. Love it. And then top of the is eighty-eight nautical miles now, so nineteen forty-five. The time is nineteen thirty, so we've got about fifteen minutes to top of the sense. We'll start to set the MCP down to three thousand, getting that ready for arrival. And we're also going to check the flight permit, make sure there's no discontinuities. Thankfully, there is not. And there we have it. I will get back to you all. Near our top of descent. Well, when we start about around 10,000 feet, as I always do. See you soon. Bye bye. Deck. So in case you can't tell, it is currently raining, in case you couldn't see from the other video, but as you can see here, it's currently raining and it's very cloudy coming back into London Gatwick as you can see, can't really see anything as it is. Um, it's about to pass 10,000 so we're going to put all the necessary lights on as well as the seatbelt signs because it's getting bumpy. So they're going to need that. Oh, hello. Love this when that happens. Pop the LS on. We'll go flat one. Pop that. Cool, this should be up. There we go. Whoa. Was that lightning or just strobe lights? Look at that, that is so cool. Oh no, come on, come back, there we go. <laughs> that 
That just looks so cool in the clouds. I'm loving this. I think we're a bit high. We shouldn't be this high. We should be at... A bit concerned about altitude. So I'm just going to manually bring this down. We're going to extend the speed brake as well. Cool cloud immersion stopped. That was really. F oh, there's Gatwick we're way too high. Need to get this plane down as well as the speed. If we just go to Perth, I need to know what approach we're looking at. We'll go 136. There we go. There's 10,000. Put on the approach. Is that rain? I honestly can't hear. I think so, but look, it shows like rain on here, then it stops, but then it's not on this windscreen. So I think that's a bug. Because you can hear it. You can't see it. Yeah, currently we're way too high, so we're going to do a quick circle. For some reason, we haven't been brought down quick enough. Not to worry. Yes, it's raining outside, but for some reason it's not shown on the windscreen, which is interesting. QH is uh, 9 at 8 to 4. Well, that drops us by altitude a lot. There we go. Getting on track now. see a lot, it's quite dark, still, see the weather radar, some bits and bobs are coming around, cheers Norm, see you on the ground, right, flap two, flap three, there we go, Go 2500. A quick look. Can you see the airport? There it is. What's this? Speed break, I'm guessing. Right, armor spoilers.
Okay, it is quite turbulent and bouncy. Flap three is down, okay, and gear. Here the engine is constantly changing. The wind is coming in. There's a crosswind from as you can see down here we've got 24 not crosswinds, so that's something to be very, very weary of. Cautious of. Gotta make sure that um we know the wind, but auto brake medium because it's wet and rainy. ILS has been captured, so we've got to keep an eye on this crosswind here. It's very important. Okay, so the gear is down. Flap three. I'm gonna go flap four now. Configure fully for landing. Flat full. It's got a slight tailwind of 18 knots. Slightly. Okay, I'm going to take control in a minute. Let's just get ready. Runway's in sight, which is good. Autopilot disconnect out of control. For the ILS, look at the end of the runway as well, checking the wind every now and then. Okay, there's a sudden wind change. Now it's a three knot headwind. So, it's very sudden. Got to adjust our angle now. Slight updraft. Definitely a bug with the rain because for some reason, as you can see, we can't see it. So that's something I need to look into. Great. Touchdown, bit of a late landing. Reverse is green, decel. Oh my gosh, you can see the rain being brought up. 
this so cool versus stowed manual braking turning off here I oh, look at that now the rain is coming on the thing There we are, now we can see the rain. Weird that. That looks so cool. Um, okay, dome lights on, landing lights off, taxi lights, wrong turn off lights off, strobe lights off, start the APU. Oh my god, look at all that rain. Did not even see that with the lights off. Interesting. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> Spoilers disarmed. Flaps up. So going to stand 109. Oh god. Can't really see. Taxi lines disappeared. Look, we've got no taxi lines. Get rid of the LS. Start the APU. Turn on the brake fan, brakes are hot. There's the APU. There's our stand. Right, taxi lights off. Three hours and ten minutes, a bit um, quicker. Oh, <gasps> as if we've done a really good one again. That's never happened to me twice in a row before. Wow. Engine two, engine one, um, off. Um, there's a beacon light off as well. See what signs off. And then in terms of APU bleed, that needs to come on. Fuel pumps off. Aid is off. Crew supply off. Ground control, where are you? Where's ground control gone? There we go. Ground control on. Um, up here, these can come back down. All very good. That's why it's off. Actually, no, I'll leave them on for now. Um, these lights can all come off. Turn all of these off. Night, night. You lot. 
down here as well. Welcome back to London Gatwick everyone. That was 3 hours and 10 minutes. Not too bad. Brakes are still hot. Um, let's have a look at our landing rate. It was minus 113. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, we'll go to flight, current flight, sorry. And we'll press complete flight. Press OK on that. There we are. Two flights completed today. Very happy with that. Very good. Um, get rid of this as well. There we have it all. Welcome to back to London Gatwick in this really, really, unfortunately, grim weather. Which is literally what it is right now because I live in London. So there we have it. Um, oh, look at these little stairs. Why have they not used the um, jetway? That's weird. For whatever reason, they haven't used it. Fair enough. No one's getting off either. Waiting for the bus, I suppose. Um, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a share if you want. It, if you think anyone else would enjoy it as well, um, give it a like as well. Um, if you enjoyed it, comment what videos you want to see. I'm a, I'm a very 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 open to requests. Um, so if you want a video that you want me to do, do let me know. Um, also, what else can I say? Um, what else was I going to say? Follow my Instagram, aviation underscore jack, which is where you'll find all the screenshots from every single flight I post, you will see in screenshot form on that account. Waiting these passengers to deboard, they're taking their time now, aren't they? There's the bus interrupting my view of the beautiful plane. There's some lovely logo lights shining. Look at that. That's so cool. Look at the detail in that. Not that we can see it now. There you go. Knock, knock. On the door. This must not be used until you are inside the airport. When disembarking, please take care and hold on to the handrail. Down the, the doors I want to open today. Oh no, they just opened. Probably can't see them. Huh. They're not spinning that fast considering it's quite windy out. You can hear the brake fan as well. There we have it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye bye.